In this video, we're going to demonstrate how to assemble a Human Touch PC 600 or 610 with a PC Live pad set. First thing we need to do is uh, make sure the backrest canvas is pushed all the way down like so to expose the lower part of the backrest frame. It may already come like that, but in case, we need to do that. Next, we're going to take a Phillips head screwdriver and remove the Phillips head screw from each end of the backrest frame. Next, we're going to align the backrest frame with the curve facing backward like that. And then insert the ends of the frame into the corresponding frame on the chair. You can make sure the backrest frame is inserted properly by manually adjusting the, head, the backrest forward like so. Next, we need to pull the backrest canvas all the way up and as tightly as you can possibly pull it and then pull as tight as you can pull it up on the back and wrap it forward and attach it to the front using the hook and loop fasteners. That flap should wrap all the way over onto the corresponding hook and loop fasteners. Next, we're ready to install the screws we removed from the backrest frame earlier. You'll see there's a hole in the canvas. We need to align that hole um, with the hole in the glide rail guard. And there's obviously a hole in the backrest frame behind the hole in the canvas. And install the screw. Next we need to install the right hand arm core. Um, you'll note this cable here. Um, this is on newer models, um, which supports the new recline interrupt sensors. If you have an older model, you will not have this cable. If you do have this cable, we need to use a scissors or a X-Acto knife to remove the protective uh, wrapping here. Same with the corresponding cable on the arm core. Again, if you don't have this cable, just ignore this step. And if you do, these sensors need to be facing forward. Connect the cables. Make sure it locks. Make sure the cable locks. And then place the arm co core into position and tuck the cable in as you go. We need to have the cable tucked all the way in so it's not pinched in any way when you, when you put the arm core flush with the, the arm like so. Then remove the uh, four screws from the bag they come in. And regardless of what type of arm core you have, you will be securing it with four screws and washers and the supplied Allen wrench. As you can see, he's hand tightening them first and we'll finish securing them with the wrench.
And finally, we can install the head pad that comes with the chair with the padded side facing the back. And now we're ready to proceed with installing the PC Live pad set. Inside the PC Live pad set box, in addition to the pads, you'll find this box of other parts. In addition to the instructions, we have several other important parts that we're going to install before we get to the pads. You have a power hub, the jade heat control panel, cable junction box, and a transformer. When we open up the power hub, we find a little baggie with four screws which we'll need to install it. To install the power hub, we'll need to tip the chair forward as we'll be installing it on the front stretcher bar. If you look closely at the back of the stretcher bar, you'll see there are four pre-drilled holes. We're going to align the power hub the holes in the power hub with those four pre-drilled holes and use the four screws to secure it with the power cable off to the right. Next, we're going to locate the chair's power cable, which is located in that pouch. We're going to undo the little tie there and take out just one loop of cable, um, just enough to reach the power hub. Then we're going to resecure that and keep it nice and neat there. Then we're going to tuck that cable back into the pocket with the power cable coming out the right-hand side of the pocket tucked behind the actuator there and plugged into the power hub. So there's as little cable showing as possible. Next we're going to take that transformer or power supply which feeds the um, jade heat, undo the tie there. We're going to plug that into the power hub and then feed the cable up through that hole in the canvas. Now we're ready to return the chair to the upright position. Okay, now we're ready to install um, the Jade Heat Kit control panel along with the recline lever guard. Um, the purpose of that is to just help you avoid in inadvertently uh, hitting that guard and causing inadvertent movement. Um, in order to do this, we also need to install the left hand arm cap. So um, we can take the screw um, out of the jade heat control panel bag. Um, we need to replace one of the backrest uh, screws with a longer screw in order to hold the jade heat kit cable. So we'll use that later. 
and then there's also a screwdriver in that same bag and the uh, six screws that secure the arm caps. Okay, then we're ready to place the Jade Heat Kit control panel um, roughly in the center of the wood arm there and replace the recline controller guard uh, centered over the recline controller there. So it's centered in the middle of the circle. Once you have those two pieces in position, you can hold those in position with one hand and place the, oops, that control panel slid there. Place that arm cap into position, push it down firmly so that it's flush with the arm core. And then you can install three screws from the bottom with the provided screwdriver to secure it. Next we're going to remove the screw from the glide rail guard and replace it with the longer screw that came with the Jade Heat Kit controller um, and secure that cable up out of the way there. So thread that screw through the loop in the cable and install it into that same screw hole. Next we'll go ahead and install the right hand arm cap. Next we're going to plug in the chair, raise the footrest about a third of the way, and slightly recline the chair in preparation to install the pad set. Next remove the packaging from the bottom of the footrest frame post there, and then um, it's, what's important is the bottom of the footrest frame post go into the pockets on the bottom of the pad. This is imperative. So you can see those pockets in the pad. He's tucked the footrest frame into the pocket and he's making absolutely sure that they go down into both and pulling up on the pad, making sure it go, the footrest frame goes all the way down into those pockets and then sliding the pad forward um, to secure the seat. Next, we're going to tip the body pad forward, remove the packaging from the end of the cable that comes from the back of the pad.
Then we need to connect the yellow cable coming from the pad to the yellow cable coming from the control panel and the red cable coming from the power to the red cable coming from the control panel. So yellow to yellow and red to red. And then we're going to take that cable junction box, align the connectors in there with the strain relief in the cutouts for that purpose, and snap the cover on. Once that junction box is secure, then we're simply going to lay it at the base of the backrest there against the canvas. Next we're going to unwrap this upholstered flap here on the back of the top of the pad and align that hook and loop strip with the one on the back of the canvas there. And we need to make sure those two match up perfectly because these need to be secure. Once they match up, make sure they're attached firmly. Like so. Now we're ready to install the headrest pad. Ultimately, the hook and loop fastener on the front of that flap is going to attach to the inside of that headrest pad. But for now, we just need to slide that down, obviously with the cushion part facing forward. That flap is sticking out there. And then we're going to slide that flap up and in so it's flat and then push down on the headrest pad to secure it to that hook and loop fastener flap so that everything is secured. And finally, we can place the head pillow to the desired height, securing it with the hook and loop fasteners. Let's perform a quick test before we're done. First, we'll test the recline controller by pushing it backward to make sure it reclines, forward to make sure it inclines, up to make sure the footrest raises, down to make sure the footrest lowers, and in, press and hold to make sure it reclines to a zero gravity position, which looks like so, with the feet above the head. Okay. And then we'll check the Jade Heat Control Panel to make sure you can set it to all three heat settings. Position 1, Position 2, Position 3. And it looks good. It's also a good idea uh, to fully recline and incline the chair while looking underneath it to make sure that none of the cables are going to be caught in the actuator as you recline and incline the chair. Um, some of them are in somewhat close proximity, so if there is any interference, do you know whatever you need to to get the cables out of the way. Other than that, all that's left is to remove the final packaging from the legs, and we're done.